I'm here with Greg Curtis with the Good Earth Greenhouse, and today, well, we're talking about some critters that you really don't oh. want to see in and around your garden or your yard. It's true, and what we're going to talk about today, a lot of times you don't ever see because in the case of my hand right now between the slugs and the snails, they show up at night, Jeff, when, when you're in bed. But what they love to do is get on your hostas, and they start putting little holes in this. This big guy right here would actually probably put one about oh, the size yeah, of a be quarter. Big. It looks like he could take down a It's just a matter of leaves. minutes. He could do it. But really simple to take care of. We start off out there with that one. The slug and snail bait does a good job. As it says, it's, you're going to have them in your garden anyway, so it's going to attract them to a certain spot. When they eat it, they ingest it. It kills them. This one says it lasts three to four weeks. I'd probably give it more like three to four good waterings or three to four good rains. Then you want to reapply. If you want to go with an all-organic, all products say you're doing some veggies in the garden you already have this anyway there's a big slug right there you just sprinkle this on top of the plant what it does it actually just cuts it's like little pieces of glass but it's not glass so the crustaceans it cuts the exoskeleton and then they crawl off and die somewhere but you have to reapply that after every rain or every watering all right so more often but it's safe around vegetables and for yeah, pets wherever, in the yard yeah. no no problems very at all. safe product. another insect that you don't see that much until the effects, just like on the hosta here, you don't know they're out there until that happens, is going to be lace bugs. I can't show you any on here because there's not any on this azalea. But what you want to look for, Jeff, every once in a while, really in July, you want to start going out and looking and just turn the leaf over. It's going to be almost a translucent little insect underneath there. What it'll do is it just sucks all the chlorophyll or all the color out of the plant and then the plant starts to turn brown. You're like, what's going on? It's not too late to treat then, but it's better to treat earlier you know we talked about the azalea food in an earlier segment you can go ahead and still apply that now but if you do see them the systemic insect control you just spray the whole plant down with that and that's good to know too because you start seeing brown you're thinking oh it's drying up it's not getting enough water yeah. then you add too much water then you just create an additional problem without solving the yeah without solving the problem and what will happen once it turns brown on the leaves like that then they're there till next year. And then when it flushes off because of new growth. So it's going to be on site later the rest of the year. So really, five minutes out in the yard, go over, get your iced tea, walk out there, turn over a few leaves, see if there's anything on the back. Take care of it. Easy. All right. Got to keep those critters away during the summer. Got to do That's it. That's all the time we have for this week. Join us back here next Wednesday for the Good Earth Greenhouse. More gardening tips from the Good Earth can be found on fox16.com. Click on professionals to watch previous episodes or to ask Greg a question about your garden. This segment is sponsored by the Good Earth Garden Center.